Ready to excite the crowd. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. My lords and ladies, here is a new team of fighters taking to our proud arena. <laughs> 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 Move away! Ready to excite the crowd. I would like to abandon the current challenge. Are you sure? Well, if you want to try it later, you'll need to start fighting all over again from the very first round. I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Well, come back. Bit of on my blade. And let's go! And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. You saw them win the first challenge with audacity! And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. Perfect. As soon as you're ready, you can jump right in. Here for your greatest pleasure, our team of excellence. I'm on my plane. And let's go! <laughs> Move away. Things are about to get icy. <laughs> And the public really appreciated it. Now that was a challenge well won. I need to get going. Huh.
Greetings. My caravan goes through all the cities, and the journey is safe. So, where would you like to go? Thank you, but I'll continue.
poison on my blade. Then let's go! Things are about to get dicey.
Burti Dumad. I am Ulan, chief of the village of Vignamri. You have a peculiar face, and it looks familiar. I didn't know that people from the continent could bear the mark of the Onol Manawi. To what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? I met a member of your clan in New Serene, a merchant. Oh, so you are the strange Anal Manawi, who helped and saved our hunter. I am very grateful to you. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. I knew the Renaic say could be good. And you proved to everyone that I was right. You are someone that the kings of the Renaic say respect and listen to, are you not? As the legate of the congregation, it is true that I can talk to all the governors of this island. That is what I taught. I need your help to talk to the leader of the great city of Hikmet. About what? I want to meet him to offer a peace treaty between his clan and mine. The Sisagnameus. Many kings want to chase the Renaigse away from the island, especially the kings of Hikmet. But I know we could learn many things from them, and we could arrange a great deal. I see. I can indeed talk to the governor about your desire to make peace. If you do talk to him, can you also tell him that one of my clansmen has come to trade with his town? I sent him some time ago, but I was told that the soldiers did not let him in. He fears for his life. Because some other clans do not look favorably on exchanges with the Renaigse. He could be attacked at any moment, alone on the road. Very well. I will make sure that he obtains permission to enter. <laughs> to what do I owe the pleasure of your visit? Tell me about your clan. We are called the Seasignemaeus, the bone blowers, because it is in our tradition to sculpt Moramil bones. These creatures are the great kings of the sea. The whole island knows of our artisans. We trade with other clans a lot, and we also trade with the Renaixe, of course. Anything else? What can you tell me about your village? Vignamri means the king's bones. It is a very ancient village. It used to be one of the largest on this island, before the people of the sea tried to take Tiafredi from us. Some battles took place very close to here. Legend has it that this is the place where the first guardian fell, and that this is the reason why our village was given its name. After the battles came the abductions and the ransacking. People used to disappear frequently. We were taught to be cursed. But I changed all of that. And I gave our clan its prosperity back. Anything else? What do you think of people from the continent? Many of our people would love for all the Renaigse to leave, but I would not. It is thanks to them that I was able to breathe new life into Vignamri. They have a lot to teach us. The Loyans have powerful weapons and very effective potions. The Lugayat Blau, your people, offer us very beautiful things in exchange for our pieces of art. Lugayat Blau? Is this what you call the congregation? It means yellow eyes. Because there seem to be round yellow eyes on your flags. They are coins. And what does Teleme offer you? The men of the sun seldom come here. But their magic is powerful. And so different from ours. I wish my brothers would understand how much we would benefit from an alliance with you from making peace. Anything else? Go and find 
the governor of Hikmet. This meeting is of the utmost importance for the future of this clan. Anything else? Nothing. I'm... A Get rid of these money bags. Things are about to get dicey! 
are about to get dicey. Poison on my blade. Then let's go!
De Sarde, I'd like to know more about my family. I need to know what became of them. Could you accompany me to see Lady Morange? I'm afraid that without you, she may refuse to give me any information. All right, Vasco. Let's go see Lady Lorene Morange.
What's your destination, milady? Just into town. I'm an emissary of the congregation, and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then, good travels, milady. Your names, titles, and business at hand. Lady de Sarde, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier for D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. Excellency, welcome. You will not... And always. Where do your wares come from? Most come straight from the continent. That's still where the most refined objects come from, isn't it? But others are also crafted in Hikmet, of course. We have some great workshops here. Here's Governor Burren's palace. I believe he's a renowned scholar, but beware, he's also a politician. With words covered in honey, but as dangerous as my weapons. We rarely bow down on our ships. I hope I will not embarrass you.
Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities. Even a remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the Isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. We are obligated to maintain all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city, but we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency. This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report, then, and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Where was I? Yes, we would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops, as well as our caravans, have been suffering incessant attacks. The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them. Considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved, you would like me to lend a hand. I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I met Ulan, the Bone Blower's clan chief from the village of Vignamri. He is an open minded man who holds great expectations of exchanges with the colonies. He would like to meet you to discuss a treaty. Even an alliance. Ulan, you say? I have never heard mention of this name, but to finally have an ally among the natives could only be beneficial. That is excellent news. Still, I fear that I cannot leave the city. That would be taking too much of a risk. I doubt that Ulan will come to Hikmet. He is looking for an alliance, but he is not desperate. Such a gesture would be considered a sign of weakness by his clan. That is understandable, I suppose. Do they grasp the concept of emissaries? Do you think that solution might work? I think that might be possible. I'm sure he would understand that you could not come to see him in person for the same reason. Excellent. Finally, some clear skies in our negotiations with the natives. My right-hand man will then go to this village to finalize an agreement with King Ulan. I'll be there too, to make sure everything goes according to our plans. There is another matter concerning the same village that I would like to bring to your attention. A wandering merchant, member of the Ulan clan, is being kept in your outpost. Can you authorize his entry into the city? I see no harm in that. This merchant is certainly not a threat to us, and he might even prove useful if the negotiations with his clan should take a foul turn. Here, please be so kind as to give him this letter of passage. If he presents it to the guards, they will let him in, and he'll be able to establish his stall in town. I thank you. I hope to see you again. I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lady.
Your Excellency. Lady de Sade, and to what do I owe this honor? And what of this conflict with Teleme on Tirfredi? Officially, we are at war, but we have never waged war openly here. Of course, we did not rejoice when they set up camp on the Isle, and we expected the worst. But it seems that their only concern is to convert the natives into believing their ridiculous teachings. They represent no true danger to us. At least, not for the time being. And to be frank, we have plenty of other concerns that demand our attention. Could you tell me a little about your city? Hikmet is the oldest city on the island. We began construction of its first buildings 15 years ago, shortly after the discovery of the island. A magnificent city, where the great minds of the time were united in a common goal. Here you could find the best doctors, the greatest engineers, and the most eminent savants. In everyone's eyes, this island has great promise. And Hikmet is the city that allows us to make good on that promise. I have to go. Farewell, my lady. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? Governor Buren has asked me to help you fight against the caravan attacks. Could you tell me precisely what's going on? For weeks we have been harassed by the savages. They're waiting for groups of soldiers or caravans to be out of sight of the outpost and attack with incredible violence. They don't just steal goods or equipment. They kill without mercy. Only one man survived their last attack. He's here in a sorry state. Do you think he could answer a few questions? Yes, but take it easy on him. I'll make sure I do, Captain. Just keep walking, Renaixi. This does not concern you. Have mercy. They will kill me. I am but a merchant who wishes to trade with the big city. I never thought I would see several islander warriors attacking a mere merchant. And I thought honor and righteousness were of the utmost importance in your culture. I must have been mistaken. What are you trying to say, Renaixi? Are you insulting us? You are insulting yourselves by behaving this way. He's an unarmed man. He's trying to survive. What honor is there in attacking him? He is a traitor. He deserves to be punished. But you are right. He is not worth attacking. Let's leave. His punishment will come once we have chased the Anaixi away 
and he cannot sell his products. Adloreda on Almanawi. May the trees along your path always bear fruit. Think nothing of it. Ulan told me that you were not able to enter the town. It is true. The soldiers did not let me enter. They left me outside, and the Donaya Exdragao took advantage of this opportunity to attack me. Rest assured, I have obtained permission for you to enter from the Governor of Hikmet, which should allow you to set up your stall in the city. Adloreda Renaixi. Thanks again. Farewell, merchant. Perhaps we will meet again. Hello there. My name is Desarde. I'm the legate of the congregation. I was informed that your caravan was looted and that you were the sole survivor of the attack. It's true, Your Excellency. It was awful. All those deaths. The violence. We followed the recommended precautions to the letter, but it was useless. How did the attack happen? We traveled all day. We were exhausted. And night was approaching. We knew we were not very far from the outpost, but we couldn't go any further. So we camped away from the road, trying to stay out of sight. Alas, it was in vain. That's when they struck, in the middle of the night. Were there several attackers? I counted five, maybe six. But others were hiding in the woods. I'm sure of it. If they only had their usual stone weapons, we may have hoped to escape them, but their weapons were inflamed. I have never been so scared in my life. What were you transporting? Mostly food, but also herbs and other ingredients for scientists. Did the attackers take it? Everything was a blur. I don't know if they intended to steal or destroy it. Unfortunately, my companions died while trying to protect our cargo. Are you saying that the looters started by attacking your cargo? Yes, Your Excellency. Maybe more of us would have survived if we'd all fled. You mentioned recommended precautions. Yes. Since attacks occur often, we were given a number of precautions to avoid them. Do not travel at certain times. Do not camp near the road. Do not light any fires. All of it was useless. It would have been better to recruit guards to escort us. Hmm. Based on what you're saying, the attacks were very targeted. They must have a camp near the outpost to monitor the road. But what is their goal? Why attack all the caravans along this route? They must want to cut off the supply lines to Hikmet. We'll go to the scene of the attack. I might find something there to help track these rebels. The caravan was some distance from the road when it was attacked. Here we are. Stay alert.
The food has been destroyed. They clearly don't need it, which means that their camp should be close by. These crates are empty. Their entire contents have been destroyed. These goods were not meant to reach their destination. They must have died protecting their goods. How sad. These wounds appear to be caused by stone blades. The kind of weapons that islanders use. They acted quickly, methodically, and then left. But where are the bodies? Let's look around. to get dicey! Why was this man's body arranged like this? There's something in his pocket. He was in the caravan, but whoever attacked him decided to drag him here and feed him to the wild beasts. A message for other merchants, no doubt. One must admit, it's an effective deterrent. Close to the target.
This obstacle was deliberately placed here. I think we're on the right track. Their camp must be nearby. We must find a way to pass. You are going to die, Renoi, except... Finally. Here's the camp of the rebel natives. Let's try talking to them before rushing in. They must have good reason to only attack the caravans that supply Hickman. Hello. Don't worry. I come in peace. I only wish to speak to your leader. I am the leader of this camp, Renaixe. And who might you be? My name is de Sade. I'm the legate of the Merchant Congregation. The Congregation? Are those the Lugaid Blau? The Yellow Eyes? It's possible, yes. We live in the city south of the island. That's right. We hold no grudge against your people. Talk. I'm listening. I have come to speak to you about your attacks against all those who take the road to Hikmet. The Lions only got what they deserve. They have captured many of our people. We must release them. That's the price of war. If you fight, you risk men being taken prisoner. I am not talking about warriors, Renaixe, but villagers kidnapped in our villages. They mainly attack on all Menawi. Those carrying the mark of the bond like you. They capture them, and we never see them again. We don't know what they are doing to them, but we are going to release them. I see. But our merchants have no role in this. They are not warriors, so why kill them? They brought food and weapons back to our enemies. We could not let them pass. If your merchants had fled, we would not have pursued them. But they resisted, so they do it. The city of Loyans is no longer to receive food or weapons. Nothing. In that case, I'm sorry to tell you that you failed. The road is not the only way to transport goods. Many things are transported by sea. Listen, if what you told me is true, I fully understand why you're fighting. I'm even ready to help you clear up these disappearances, as long as you spare our merchants. You no longer need to worry about it. That was our last attack. Our troops are ready, and soon we will make the Luyan pay for the harm it has brought upon us. What are you talking about? Soon, the Donea Egtragao will march together, and we will free our brothers. I'm sorry, Chief, but I cannot let you do that. So you finish talking and you want to fight now? You leave me no choice. Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! These people preferred to die than fall to the Alliance. 
You've heard what their leader said. They will do anything to free their own. Then if they are actually ready for a pitched battle, there will be piles of corpses. I have to admit that the story of this attack is concerning. We should talk to Captain Rainhild about it. We can also inform him that the convoys will now be running smoothly. Hello, Captain. Your Excellency, what can I do for you? I managed to trace the rebels who attacked the caravans. They will no longer be a problem. You eliminated them? Yes, Captain. Alas, these men are only a small part of the rebels that threaten you. I learned that they are planning to go to war with Hikmet. We have been at war with the rebels for a long time. They did not speak of skirmishes, but of a pitched battle. They want to free their imprisoned comrades and will stop at nothing to do so. This is terrible news. We must prepare the troops immediately. I'll send a message to Governor Buran. Thank you for warning us, Your Excellency. You've given us a chance to resist their assault. I know it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this as a token of gratitude. Thank you, Captain. What can I do for you, my child? What was your role at my uncle's court? Were you already an ambassador? No. But I was part of the embassy. I had only just started my career as a diplomat back then. Teleme was hoping to convert the congregation, and they had sent me to spread the word. I tried to teach you some of the basics because you had a predisposition for magic. But you were so young. You preferred to run around the halls with a wooden sword in hand, chasing your cousin. I will see you later. Take care, my child.
I see that the governor of Hikmet's emissary is already here. He is. And I am very thankful that you succeeded in organizing this meeting. I am full of hope for the future. Uh, we are very grateful as well, Your Excellency. However, if you could leave us, I am sure you can understand that the discussion we are about to have must remain confidential. Naturally. I hope that you will reach an agreement. Cut him! You have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. You don't appear to be in top form. Are house intrigues keeping you from finding proper sleep? No. Nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus, emissary of Teleme. Your Highness. May the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Cardinal. She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. I have been to the neighboring cities, as you asked of me. Tell me, then. Was your journey adventurous? Well... I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. I would not have allowed anything bad to happen to him, Your Highness. Oh, it's just us here, Kurt. Why not continue to call me by my given name? Carry on with your story, cousin. I'm impatient to know what secrets our illustrious neighbors have discovered. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be the result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon, an evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my daughter. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place, but they are unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets, and Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. 
The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors. <sighs> We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on her investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my daughter. Thank you. Have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? How are relations with our allies? Oh, they bow and scrape, and they regularly assure me of their unwavering friendship, so that they can better try to convince me to embrace their point of view, and only theirs. Teleme wants to convert me, and the Alliance assures me that only they will allow us to benefit from progress. They're a bunch of old foxes, but they take me for a young, brainless rabbit. The only thing they really want is to increase their influence on this island, with our help. Are you liking your new role as a governor? How does it feel? <sighs> Honestly, once the thrill of the first few days is over, it's boring. I receive delegations from everywhere. They arrive with their arms full of presents to make me sign some agreements. Most of them take me for a fool, who will be easily convinced by some silver trinket. I would love to simply brush them all off and work on some real projects. I have so many ideas to make this city, this island, truly amazing. I'm going to leave. Look out for yourself. Greenblood, my friend. My contacts have spoken. I was able to discover the location of this infamous phantom training camp. Do you still think they should be held accountable? More than ever. You know that I recruited Rayner. I want to know what kind of hornet's nest I led him into. I want to know what these madmen did. But I fear if I go alone, I might not be able to control myself. And I won't learn anything. But you're already very busy. Come find me again when you have less to do. Anything else? You seemed really attached to Rayner. He brought some memories back. I was a bit like him at his age. I felt responsible for his well-being. After all, I recruited him. Why? Don't tell me you're jealous of this poor kid. You seem so furious about what happened to him that I wondered if there'd been something more between you two. Never. You really think I could have taken advantage of the weakness of a kid I was responsible for? I thought you knew me better than that. Anything else? You told me that you enlisted at a very young age. But do you have any pleasant memories of your childhood? Some, yes. Why? What kind of memories were you thinking about? Tell me about a happy memory of yours. A memory that makes you smile. I have a few sweet but blurry memories of my wet nurse. I remember her smell of crushed flowers and herbs. But when I try to remember something happy, it's the memory of a later event that stirs. The memory of a day when we skip training to go for a swim in the river. It was spring. We waded for a good part of the afternoon into a marvelous little cold stream, running over a bed of round pebbles. <laughs> Isn't it odd that that appears to be my happiest memory? No. It was a moment of freedom. You were carefree. I guess that's why you remember it. You're right. Since that day, there hasn't been much room in my life for being carefree. Anything else? I must leave you.
Good day, Lady Morange. Do you remember me? Of course, Lady de Sardé, isn't it? I hope that you and your cousin have grown to like it here. But I have little reason to believe you have paid me a visit to exchange civilities. Can I be of service? We would like to have some information regarding an important family, the Darcys. Well, I could tell you many things about them, but I suppose that you want to know something in particular? Are there any members of this family on the island? Indeed, Bastien Darcy, the son of the family, has been in New Serene for some time. Last I heard about it, he was doing business, but that doesn't help in knowing where he is. The Darcy's first attempt at establishing themselves on this island wasn't very fruitful, but I seem to recall that since then the son has found a competent associate who's been working here for a long time. Perfect. Could you tell us where to find her? Of course. Ask for a Madame Clerk near the warehouses on the port. That's where she normally is. I hope the Darcy's are not in trouble. Do not worry, madam. Their name was simply mentioned in some business discussions. We are thinking about becoming associates. We would like to know more about them to form an opinion. If you ask me, you should forget this idea, Your Excellency. Their son is a poor business partner. Why do you say that? I do not mean to speak ill of him. Perhaps it would be better for you to form your own opinion. Well, thank you for your help, madam. Can I help you with any other matter? My lady. Come closer, good people. you are you here to do business are you madam clerk we would like to meet with your associate mr darcy bastian i don't know where he is i can't say that he often graces us with his presence you don't have the slightest idea where he is i am not his caretaker you know you don't seem to hold him in high regard listen my relationship with my associate is no one else's concern and if you didn't come to do business well We must find him. This man you can see by my side is his brother. Do not insult my intelligence. I know that the Darcy's only have one son, alas. You can see the Nort tattoos on his face, can't you? And a merchant like you must surely know about the Nort's recruiting process. I can see the Nort, but a Darcy. And with all this blue on his face, he doesn't really resemble his brother. I've got a hunch that your associate has brought you more problems than benefits. What would you say if I offered you some gold to compensate for your losses? Hmm. I see that you understand the struggles of a simple merchant. He was supposed to go to Hikmet to deal with one of our clients, but I didn't receive any news from him after his departure. And given his tendency to get himself into impossible situations, I didn't try to get any. Who is this client? His name is Ferrat. You'll find him in the Alchemist District. Uh, I'll write this down. You think something may have happened to him there? His mission wasn't very complicated. He had to pay for a valuable shipment and take charge of it. But with Bastion, anything is possible. Thank you, madam. <laughs> 